Oh my god, I feel like a child when I'm in this place. You guys have had a very, very beautiful place here. Like, I've so much enjoyed my stay here. I'm so playful. Meanwhile, when I'm with him, because yeah, we grew up kind of together, though he's younger, like I told you. But hey, guys, I want to take you around my cousin's home. If you watched my previous video, I showed you around his farm, and it was pretty a nice place. I hope you liked it. Please come with me because I want to show you around his home and probably a house too if you're interested click the subscribe button if you're not yet please come with me ah here we are guys uh so this first of all is the brain behind the farm you saw in my previous video as young as he is he's a very smiley person <laughs> that is why i'm so playful when i'm near him guys this is my young cousin he inspires me a lot i'm older than him i must admit yeah but he does things that i at my age have never done like that i at my age my brain has not even come close to it but he's so much uh i don't know his brain is so active that i don't even know how to say it guys but he's a pretty quiet person he's just, he's just a jolly person like i told you otherwise this right here is his farm house he stays here going at the farm yeah he comes and stays here so guys um you want to home tour yes surely i'm definitely going to show you that um you might want to hear his voice <laughs> but he's not a talkative person hello my bear yeah. <laughs> he has tight lips he doesn't like talking <laughs> come let's go and show them around our home <laughs> so guys let's start right from here this he told me he uses it just as um either a table or any he's very creative just like a compound table he uses it just for he wants to sit on the compound and do anything this is a place to go he wants to sandra anything this is a place to go so that is it guys and then this i'm pretty sure you wondered what this is this is um, also another material it's not paper it's not metal as well i don't even know how to describe this um, this material but he made a store out of it. He took um, some of the seeds, some of the, um, the products from the farm as well. He stores them here. And then this right here, he sleeps here. Or maybe he has, because sometimes he comes here but not alone. So these are just houses for sleeping. And then, yeah, like you can see that the compound is full of green, yeah? These are just, uh, just the trees. All right, guys. And then this right here is also another store here and like behind as you can notice everywhere behind are just uh beehives yeah you can notice the beehives those tires on the tree those are all beehives meanwhile all those trees are also those are also projects yeah his projects he does a lot of uh fruit farming like i told you this is a just fruit again those are mangoes all his fruits are grafted because i can see those are young young fruits like they look young but when they're actually mature and then right here guys these are brown nuts they're almost mature as you can notice the color is almost starting to turn yeah it's turning away already already from green to yellowish and brownish that's an indication it's almost ripe for harvesting and then this right here all these are farm so guys come with me there is more to show you behind here it's pretty muddy here <laughs> So I have to barefoot for my own safety. This here guys, um, some people call them papaya, some people call them popo, whatever you call it in your language. I don't say but guys, please go ahead and let me know if you have these fruits in your country as well. As for us, we call them uh, papaya. And then this here, um, this, this, this. Yeah, this right here are uh, guavas. These are guavas. They are also crafted, as you can notice. The plant looks pretty young, but it's bearing fruits, as you can notice. Yeah, so these are guavas. Um, then right behind here, more groundnuts, almost ready for harvesting, as you can see. The colors have turned. Yeah, and then that is just a bed, a nursery bed, where he plants his seedlings before transferring them into the main garden, guys. So, how about we get back home? <laughs> mm. 
Meanwhile, guys, this place is cold, I must admit, yeah? Like a lot of trees, as you noticed, so it's always cold. Yes, I can say it's a rain season as well, but this place gets more cold than like home, where I showed you in my other video, yeah? Because this place has a lot of um, trees, a lot of greens around, so it's really, really cold here. But um, I think he's used, <laughs> he's used to his place in that if he comes home, he keeps complaining that our home is hot like it's too hot so now i can understand why he keeps complaining about the heat otherwise guys this is it for the compound tour i wanted to check around this compound guys because it i am so impressed like i told you it's pretty nice yeah and this guy is so creative like i told you so this is just it about the compound yeah right here behind it there's the products all over that's a window if you're wondering what that is <laughs> so guys thank you very much for watching this particular video guys i hope you liked it please let me know what you think about this farm guys are you inspired like i am do you feel like starting up a farm like this guy has done it at his young age i mean for me i really really say he has done a very very beautiful work that um I really really commend his work it's so inspiring yeah i'm pretty sure you've picked a leaf out of this otherwise thank you very much for watching until the next video guys bye, -bye.